Assalamualaikum. This is Muhammad Ahmad Khalid. I am here to present my uh, final year project. My group mates are Tahazar Khan and Ahmad Ismail. The project is being supervised by Dr. Samir Riaz. Uh, our project is Fire Detection Localization System. In this project, we have developed a Python-based desktop application along with an Android application. The project utilizes advanced computer vision techniques to detect and localize the fire. The primary objective of our project is to enhance the surveillance systems and provide a real-time alert whenever the fire is generated. The alerts are uh, generated uh, separately on both the uh, desktop application as well as the Android application. Let's talk, talk, talk about the real-world implementations of this project. This, is, this system holds significant potential for the real-world implementations. It can be deployed in wide range of settings including commercial buildings, industrial facilities, educational institutes, warehouses, etc. By leveraging potential of the intelligent fire detection system, this system enhances the safety and help mitigate the risks associated with the fire. Let's talk about the uh, application, desktop application. Uh, to uh, ensure the secure access, the app incorporates a login screen connected to the Firebase server. This authentication makes sure that only the authorized users can access the application and its features. By implementing this security measure, we can maintain an integrity and privacy of the system. Let's enter the uh, credentials. After ent entering the credentials, uh, we press the login button. If we have entered the uh, wrong credentials, uh, it will sh uh, show an error. So let's enter the right credential. then press the login button see uh, after the right credentials the main screen is opened this screen serves as the centralized hub where users can manage uh, their connected surveillance cameras and monitor their system status the screen consists of an emergency button on the top uh, after clicking the emergency button a, a small screen pops up con consisting of emergency contacts whenever the fire is generated to facilitate a convenient monitoring a scroll bar is present up Upon selecting the uh, right camera, uh, 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 the users can access a larger view of the camera's feed. This allows for the detailed inspection and monitoring of the specific areas. So, a larger screen has been uh, uh, viewed. At, uh, a start button is also present on the screen. The, uh, uh, when the button is clicked, the, start, uh, the, the system starts the surveillance. As you see, the fire has been detected in uh, one of the cameras. A uh, notification has been uh, generated along with the alarm. At this same time, at this same time, an, an image which will be fetched and sent uh, to the Android application. Upon getting the uh, image, uh, the Android application will also start the alarm. Uh, in, uh, this is. Uh, in, this is because uh, whenever a, a person is not monitoring the system, uh, the Android application will help uh, uh, generate an alert. Uh, the core of this application relies on implementation of YOLO v5 model, uh, model for fire detection. The YOLO v5 model is state of the RD learning algorithm known, known for its speed and accuracy. This is our Android application in which in the first screen we have two options as a user as an admin. First we have to click as an as a user. When we click this is we have to enter the login detail to enter into the app. This is our main screen. Now when we receive the email or notification from the, our desktop system, we press our fire status to check the location of the fire. And this is the location of the fire in which we check where this fire is take, took place. To perform further action, we turn back to the main screen. Now we have an option hospital, police and fire brigade. First we check the hospital. This is our hospital phone numbers. want to log out the application we simply click on the dashboard navigation bar in which we click sign out button to sign out our app now we press on as an as an admin now we will enter admin details
after login the admin this is our first first screen in which we can add the users or read the users details when we click on add user this is the add user details name email password phone numbers and rank This is the data of which I enter. Now we click on the enter. The data is uploaded. When we click on read user, it show all the user's details. When we click on the random user, for example, let's see Hamad. We will see the email, phone number, rank, all details of the user. When we click on the delete user, it delete the Hamad codes from our database. Or when we have to update the user, we just simply click update user from this and we can update the user details this is our android application thank you